let's go to number three. Consider an arithmetic uh, sequence where u sub uh, 8 equals uh, s sub uh, 8 equals 8. Find the value of the first uh, term, u sub uh, 1, and the value of a uh, common difference, uh, d. For u sub uh, 8, we know that is u sub uh, 1 plus 7d. I will use uh, s sub uh, n equals n over 2 to u sub uh, 1 plus n minus 1 times d to get the equation for s sub uh, 8 equals uh, 8. So s sub uh, 8 equals 8 over 2 times 2 u sub 1 plus 8 minus 1 is 7d. That equals 8. 8 over 2 is 4. 2 u sub 1 plus 7d equals 8. Both sides I divided by 4. We will get 2 u sub 1 plus 7d equals 2. For the first equation, u sub 8 is 8 equals u sub 1 plus 7d. Then we get a second equation. We count this is uh, the first equation. Second equation is 2 equals 2 u sub 1 plus 7d. This is the second equation. Then we do subtraction. That is 6 equals negative u sub 1. This is uh, cancelled. So u sub 1 equals negative 6. We plug u sub 1 equals negative 6 uh, to second equation. We will get 2 equals 2 times negative 6 plus 7d. 2 equals negative 12 plus 7d. Then 14 equals 7d. Divided by 7 both sides, d equals 2. Therefore, d equals 2 and a usable 1 equals negative 6. Let's go to number 4. The first term in an arithmetic sequence is 4. And the fifth term is a log base 2 of 625. Find the common difference of the sequence. Expressing your answer in the form log base 2 of p, where p rational numbers. According to the given information, we know u sub 1 equals 4, and u sub 5 equals log base 2 of 4. 625. For u sub 5, we can write down u sub 1 plus 4d. So we plug in u sub 5 equals 4 plus 4d. u sub 5, that is log base 2 of 625 equals 4 plus 4d. I'm looking for this d. This is a linear equation, so minus 4, both sides, log base 2 of 625 minus 4 equals 4d. For this 625, we do know that equals 5 to the fourth power, and a log base 2 of 4, 5 to the fourth power, we can write down 4 log base 2 of 4, 5. So we get 4 log base 2 of 4, 5 minus 4 equals 4d. Then we divide it by 4, both sides. We will get log base 2 of 4, 5 minus 1 equals d. Since I'm looking for this form, you have to condense uh, these two 
we do know n equals log base of b of b to the nth power. Therefore, for this one, I can write down log base 2 of 2. So log base 2 of 5 minus log base 2 of 2 equals d. Then condensing the log, log base 2 of 5 over 2 equals d. This is the solution to d. Let's go to 5a. In an arithmetic sequence, use of 2 equals 5 and use of 3 equals 11. Find the common difference. The common difference uh, D, we can write down use of uh, N minus uh, previous term. Therefore, this common difference will be 11 minus 5 equals 6. 5B, find the first uh, term. For use of uh, 2, I can write down use of uh, 1 plus D. So 5 equals use of uh, 1 plus 6 use of 1 equals 5 minus 6, that is a negative 1. So use of 1 equals a negative 1. For 5c, find the sum of the first 20 terms. We will use this formula, s sub n equals n over 2, 2 use of 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So S sub 20 equals 20 over 2. 2 times negative 1 plus 19 times 6. That equals 10. Negative 2 plus 19 times 6 will be 114. So 114. Then we have uh, 10 times uh, 1, 12. That equals uh, 1,120. This is the sum of the first uh, 20 terms. Let's go to 6a. Uh, Consider f of x equals the uh, square root of x uh, sine pi over 4x, and uh, g of x equals the uh, square root of x for x greater than or equal to 0. The first time the graphs of f and g intersect is at x equals 0. Find the two smallest non-zero values of x for which f of x equals g of x. We will set up square root of x sine pi over 4x equals square root of x. Since we could see the common factor is uh, square root of x, we need to move everything from one side to the other side. So I decided to move uh, square root of x uh, to the left side. We will get square root of x sine pi over 4x minus the square root of x equals 0. Common factor square root of x sine pi over 4x minus 1 equals 0. So we have a square root of x equals 0 or sine pi over 4x minus 1 equals 0. Square root of x equals 0, which means x1 equals 0. Then we will solve this trig equation sine pi over 4x equals 1. We do know sine pi over 2 equals 1. So we can write down pi over 4x equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi times k. Then for this equation, multiply by 4 both sides. Pi times x equals 2 pi plus 8 pi times k. 
Then we divide it by pi both sides. X equals 2 plus 8K. Since x is uh, greater than or equal to 0, for this k, the smallest number is uh, k equals 0, then x equals uh, 2. When k equals 1, x equals 2 plus 8 equals uh, 10. So x equals 2 and uh, x equals 10 are the two smallest uh, non-zero values of x when f of x equals uh, g of x. Let's go to 6b. Uh, the set of uh, all non-zero values that satisfy f of x equals uh, g of x can be described as an arithmetic uh, sequence use of n equals a plus b times n, where n greater than or equal to 1. At point uh, P, the graph of f and uh, g intersect for the 21st uh, time. Find the coordinates of uh, P. We already know u sub 2, that equals 2, and u sub 3 equals 10 from 6a. This too means the second time of intersection. 3 is uh, the third time of intersection. Then we need to figure out this uh, a and uh, b. Plug uh, u sub 2 equals 2 into this uh, equation. We will get the 2 equals a plus 2 times b. For u sub 3, I plug in, you will get 10 equals a plus 3b. Then we do subtraction. Negative 8 equals negative b, so b equals 8. For b equals 8, I plug into the first equation. 2 equals a plus 2 times 8. So we get the 2 equals a plus 16. a equals negative 14. Now we get u sub n equals negative 14 plus 8n. When n equals uh, 21st, we plug in here, negative 14 plus 8 times uh, 21. That equals negative 14 plus 168. That equals 154. This is the uh, x value for the y coordinate, we know g of x equals the square root of x, that equals the square root of 154. So the coordinate for p will be 154 and square root of 154. 154 is to simplify the square root, it cannot be divided by 4, 9, 25, or 49. And those are perfect square numbers.